All right, everybody, FG back here again. Uh, this is a four band ham radio install. This is the radio. Right here is the chassis. Mm -hmm. Right here is a combo from about two years ago. So when you get hungry while you're working on your project, you can snack on it. You know, these things are uh, pretty much about the same as uh, those uh, cracker and cheese combos. You know that uh, you go to the store and buy the little plastic tear-off package. You know it's got the cheese on one end and the pretzel sticks in the other and you don't ever ask what they did to the cheese to make it survive a nuclear blast but that'll be the last thing on earth that and cockroaches <laughs> so now that we've gotten that out of the way let's take a look at where the radio is going to mount so I went ahead here removed the seat bolts sliced out a piece of carpet to make some room here on the floor I'm going to figure out how to Get some type of a mounting bracket here. Mount the radio right next to the factory amplifier. I think that uh, should be a, a good location. The control head is already built from the factory to be remoted, so that's going to be connected remotely later on as I run the wire over. Be able to hook that up and the microphone. And so there you see the beginning uh, phase of the project. All right, so the seat is now in the up position after removing the bolts, which were somewhere between. OMG and I just dislocated my shoulder on the torque rating band. Uh, I guess they're making very very sure that these seats don't move anytime during the life of the vehicle. Didn't notice if they actually uh, put any thread locker on them but uh, they were in there quite well so no problem there. Get, to, get out your breaker bar. We'll see you in phase two. All right it's go time again. We're back. Uh, this turned out to be a, a little more complicated than I had first anticipated. Uh, big surprise there, right? Anybody had ever done a project? Did it ever take as long as you thought? Nah, more like double is pretty normal, right? And uh, usually the cost is about twice as much, too, as your first estimate. Or at least it's been my experience. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Anybody else can give a holler out and say, yeah, that's about right. So anyway, what I did here was uh, take the Rockford Fosgate amplifier mounting bracket and drill a couple holes in it and mount the radio's mounting bracket straight onto there. It seems uh, to be quite solid. Uh, the only thing I'm wondering about is whether I'll get any RF interference in the amplifier when the radio is running, uh, which is an interesting question, but if I'm transmitting, I would expect that the radio would be off anyway, so it's probably not going to be an issue. Uh, where I'm just going to go ahead and, and get this mounted up, and we're going to try it. This seems to be the best spot that I can think of. It's underneath. It's out of the way. It's well protected. It has uh, enough air for the cooling fan to be able to get a good bite on bringing cool air in. Basically, as I mentioned earlier, I just took the entire seat assembly and tilted it up to get it out of the way. And uh, now I'm going to be uh, reinstalling all the bolts and uh, starting to work on the wiring. See you in part three. All right, so here we are. We are back. Uh, this is the Yasu. It is now installed in the dash. Uh, as you can see, this is a remote head unit. Uh, earlier I detailed how the chassis was being mounted underneath the seat. That uh, seemed to come out pretty well. Uh, the wiring, obviously, as you can see, is uh, really not squared away. It's uh, quite a rat's nest right now. Um, it will not look like this, obviously, when I'm done. You can see the kick panel is all pulled out. Uh, the um, door sill on the passenger side, etc. So this is still very much a work in progress. Unfortunately, uh, the light is going away for the day, so I'm going to have to uh, conclude this project tomorrow. But that's basically just going to be a matter of cleaning up wiring. This really uh, illustrates the major points of how this was done. Again, I mounted the head unit over here, as you can see, directly in front of the shifter which I thought was a very good spot for it, and it is up and running. It's working very well. Uh, receiving some broadcasts on uh, 455.855 megahertz, and I'm gonna have to go look up who that is that's actually broadcasting, but uh, they're sending public service messages and updates on the corona, uh, which obviously is pretty much what everybody's updating these days. So we'll find out what the news is on that situation, and we'll be going from there. 
signing off. All right, so this is FG back at you again. Uh, it's day two. It's now Saturday morning. Uh, the weather is not so great, so I'm not sure how the lighting's going to come out here. Hopefully it's a little better. The first plan I had for locating the head unit did not turn out so great. I was not really too able to, uh, to get the wiring and the brackets to fit the way I wanted, and I really wasn't in a huge mood to tear apart the entire dash to make this happen. So I decided to go with plan B. Plan B involved going this way. I took and repurposed a telephone suction cup mount. Took off the suction cup and spring and other miscellaneous pieces that I didn't need. And took and drilled a couple tiny screws through the side of the console. I figure if I ever actually remove this for whatever reason, it's going to be mostly invisible. There's only two tiny holes there where the screws were set and they're not really visible even from the driver's seat so I'm able now to change the angle I can rotate it a little bit side to side to set it more towards the driver's angle or if the passenger is going to be operating the radio while the driver is doing what he's doing which is usually driving uh, I think this might work out a little better we'll see how this goes find out if it has too much bounce or not so far it's working out looking like it's going to work out pretty well time will tell we'll see how that goes and signing off for day two with these